Air fryer fish sandwich. Welcome back to The Average Kitchen. Thanks for tuning in. Don't forget to hit the subscribe and notification bell. Today I'm gonna to show you how to make a Ninja air fried fish sandwich. I've got some beautiful tilapia here and I'm literally just gonna slice those in half to give myself four parts. And you'll see I've got some flour here, egg, panko that I seasoned with some dried basil, dried oregano, dried parsley, salt and pepper. And I've got my new favorite tool here in the kitchen, the Ninja Air Fryer. And I'm also gonna show you how to make a very quick and easy homemade tartar sauce. So I'm just gonna give my eggs a quick whip. I threw in uh, two eggs. And maybe before my hands get all gummed up, I'm gonna give this uh, rack here a little quick spray. There we go. We've got our fish into some flour here. So just a light dusting of the flour, nothing too crazy. Then it's gonna go into our egg wash. Boom. Let some of that excess egg drip off. And then I'm just gonna throw that right there for now. I'm gonna work on this other one. So with the panko, we wanna be pretty generous. Make sure that's pretty covered because that's gonna give her a crispiness. So this is a really amazing uh, alternative to deep frying. Having the uh, air fryer available here. It's uh, really, really amazing because I'm not gonna add any oil or anything to this. Just gonna basically cook it just as is. Really, you could do this with any kind of fish. I just happen to have some tilapia here, which is uh, a really, really nice, makes a really nice flaky fish. Okay, I'm gonna clean up my hands and I'm gonna preheat my air fryer for roughly five minutes and I'm gonna set it for 400 degrees. So I preheated my Ninja air fryer. If you don't have an air fryer, it's not a big deal. Throw it in the oven. Uh, I just wanted to sort of profile making this today with this Ninja air fryer as it's relatively new for me. So I gave it a preheat and I'm just gonna basically take the racks and just gently set them in like so. And then I'm gonna, well, luckily it's just over 15 minutes. So it's a, oops, idiot. So I'm gonna set that for 400 degrees and I'm gonna set it for 15 minutes. And in the meantime, I'm gonna show you how to make an awesome homemade tartar sauce. So I use Hellman's, but you could use really any kind of mayo you, you like. But I'm gonna say, uh, I'm gonna give myself two pretty good heaping tablespoons here, maybe a little bit more. And then I'm gonna probably do two teaspoons of like a green sweet relish. And then once we start mixing that up, then we'll see how our ratios look. But literally, that's how easy it is to make a very, very quick, easy tartar sauce. So I actually think that ratio is pretty good. So we're gonna put that in the fridge and give it a few minutes to sort of set up and cool down. And then uh, whenever we're ready to make our sandwich, we're gonna lather that all over it. Roughly five minutes left, just over five minutes left. Let's take a peek and see how they look. So I think they're looking pretty awesome. Another huge bonus about this air fryer is uh, just be able to open that lid, have a quick peek. Maybe you want to switch them around. Some people do, I generally don't. I just leave them on the racks and they just close the lid and it gets going again. So I'm gonna take a bun, got a couple here. I'm just gonna grab a bun and I'm gonna give it a uh, quick slice and then we're gonna lightly toast it and then we're gonna build our layers. So basically you saw we made that amazing, very quick, very easy, uh, tartar sauce. I've got some iceberg lettuce that I cut that I have sitting in a water bath in the fridge to sort of help crisp that up. So basically we're gonna put our layer of tartar sauce, some beautiful fish that we're cooking here right now, and some lettuce on a lightly toasted bun. It's gonna be amazing. So, I'm gonna end up throwing this in the toaster oven. Our fish is all... Our fish is done. So, let's pop it out. That's how it really can't even pop it out. Let's pop the lid open, grab these racks carefully, lift those off, and set that on there. I should have had two of those. Get another one. There we go. No damage to the countertop. So, well twisted here. I'm gonna pull out our uh, iceberg lettuce. No nutritional value but definitely adds a nice textural component. So I just pulled my buns out of that toaster oven. 
So I'm gonna give this a little smear here of some tartar sauce. Be pretty generous with it. And I'll probably do it on both sides, like so. And I'm going to work in maybe some of our iceberg. Just dry it off a little bit more. Put a piece in there like that, and then one more like that. And then I'm gonna carefully grab Hopefully this doesn't stick too bad. Even though I sprayed those racks, I definitely find sometimes there is a little bit of sticking. Um, but, no, there we go. Not too bad. So grab one piece of fish, and then maybe I'll grab that small one as well. And we'll sort of double that up like that. You can hear that crunch. And then I'm gonna throw our lid on it. That's your sandwich. Ninja air fryer, fish sandwich. Very quick and easy, very healthy. No deep frying, air frying. I can't wait to dig into this. Hope you liked the episode. Don't forget to subscribe. Check out some of our other videos and we'll see you on the next one.